Okay, hey everybody, it's Doug. Um, just got a knock at the garage door from the FedEx uh, lady, and uh, she had a package for me, something I've been waiting on, and uh, I wanted to show, I wanted to open it in front of you guys today, and I want to show it to you. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put my name over my address, but this is the box I just got from the FedEx lady, and I don't know if you can read it from there, but it's from Glock. Okay, so about uh, two and a half to three weeks ago, I I live on the south side uh, between Atlanta and Macon, and I had to be up on the north side of Atlanta one afternoon, so um, I stopped by the Glock headquarters in Smyrna and dropped off my Glock 22. Now, it's uh, this is the first semi-automatic uh, pistol I ever owned or ever had. It actually is a, uh, was loaned to me from my brother. Um, I've had it for seven or eight years. He had it for several years, and it was a police trade-in. Uh, so, um, I mean, I don't. I guess I could look it up. I'm not really that uh, up to speed on Glock. Uh, I, was, I guess it's probably a Gen 2 or who knows. But I know the back uh, sights were not even, they had to be knocked off of the slide uh, to be replaced. Um, but anyhow, so I took it up to Glock. Um, to their warranty department and um, I saw online where they would uh, uh, refinish the slide um, and the, the um, barrel and I sort of lost my I've sort of forgotten right now but I think it was um, $60 for both I believe it was yeah I'm pretty sure it was $60 to have the, the slide and the barrel refinished. So anyhow, uh, the, the gun had some, uh, no pitting on it, but had a little bit of minor rust on the slide. The, the barrel was, uh, of course, it was, had a lot of age and a lot of rounds to it. So it was, uh, had some pretty good wear on it. The, um, the frame actually had what I've seen on YouTube. Some of the guys refer to as a pig nose where in, at, and the frame was sort of turned up right at the end of the slide. And they say that's from a lot of rounds going through or whatever. I had, I, I looked at my other clocks and noticed that they don't have it. So anyhow, make a long story short, I mentioned to the guy when I dropped it off that uh, I wanted them to refinish the slide and the, and the uh, barrel and to go th please go through the, the, um, please go through the frame. And if there was any parts that were covered under warranty, Please replace, and if not, then give me a call and let me know what needs to be done. And and um, you know, I, I could decide. Of course, I would. I would probably have have them gone do, done everything that they need to do. But um, so I never got a call from them. I just got the package back. So I don't even. I need to check to see if they even charged my credit card yet. But anyhow, here's the unboxing. Okay. So first of all, I want to note that. Here's the delivery note from them. I took the pistol up there, not even with a magazine. I just took the pistol. And I've received it back in a brand new Glock box. So right off the bat, I'm impressed. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think they'd do that, but. So here's the delivery note and um, I'm going to try to look at it quickly. Um, okay, so it looks to me like what they have done uh, is they have replaced they have replaced I'm sorry, I, know this, I don't want to try to drag this out too long. They have replaced, hell, everything. Firing pin, uh, safety spring, locking block, locking block pin, magazine catch, recoil spring, slide cover plate, firing pin, magazine, you know, I mean, I just, you know, I'd have to go through this pretty, but looks to me like uh, everything. Well, hell, let's just look at it.
on the front, as you can see, a lot of it's been information has been redacted. So, of course, this is not the box that came with this particular with with my gun. It's, it's I didn't I didn't give them a box. So this must be just a, some extra boxes they got laying around, and that's, they put them into things. So here we go. And it's covered in cosmoline, but here's the gun if you can see it. I hope you can see it okay. You can see the shininess. Of... Um, I'm going to need to go get a rag to wipe this thing off, but okay. There was some there was some gouges on the frame itself, uh, up under the trigger guard. You can see that that is still there. So that tells me that this is, and I and it still has a little bit of a pig nose. I don't know if you can see it, but see how the see how the frame it turns up at the end. The gap is not quite the same. Uh, that's okay. Um, It, it didn't come with them. I didn't send a magazine and of course it didn't come back with a magazine, but I'm going to need to clean it up. I, that, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. That was the rusting that was on the gun when I took it, when I sent it in to have the, have the, uh, slide re refinished and i don't particularly like that that looks like hammered hail to me i mean it may be something that, uh i don't think that's going to rub out i don't know we'll just have to see but anyhow the gun was was it seems it's, uh, it, it's been through a lot and i you know it, um they've rebuilt all the inner parts in the frame are brand new um, and the slide and the barrel does look much better. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't expect a whole lot for $60. So, well, that's it. I uh, just wanted to see, let's see that I did get the box. Hey, that's, that's a bonus, I guess. But, um, all right, well, this is Doug and then you were here for the, for the unboxing and, uh, Hope you got something out of it. Thanks.